Yeah. Good. You there? Yeah. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. You go. <laughs> Hi. We're doing a crochet. Yes, it's me. It's not Sarah. Sarah's had to run an errand. Left me here. Um, I did offer to do the errand, but uh, no, she said I could cope. So um, I'm here. Josh is doing the um, videoing. And we've got Beth who's going to show Hi. us the crochet thing. Are we Are we both on? Yeah, yeah, you're good, yeah, good. Cool. So while we're waiting for people to catch up with us, I thought I'd just show you um, the new thing. A couple of you have been um, buying the Homestead Charm Packs, which we still have a few of, and they're still on special offer because they've not been taken off. Um, but we've had the Homestead um, Layer Cake in. Um, it's beautiful, bright spring colours. Um, we have it on the bolt as well. Do I need to come? You can, yeah. But yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. Can you see that? So we've got a couple of them on the bolt as well. Um, so if you wanted to do sashing and stuff, we can help you out with that. And we've also got it in a jelly roll. I love a jelly roll. A jelly roll you can just sew together and it comes out looking really nice anyway. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing that we've had in new, really. Um, don't look at the mess behind us, okay? As everybody goes, that's to put the mess behind. That's all stuff waiting to go on her chander and, and things. It's just, um, uh, yeah, it's a good job the shut's, the, the shut's shot. The shop is shut. Um, because you, you couldn't get people in here at the moment. Um, although Sarah and I are enjoying uh, classic free homes. Well, I am. Sarah's got boys. There's never a class of free. So, anyway, Beth's going to show us how to do the basket weave. Now, this is, if Josh can bring it closer, this is the one that Beth is working on at the moment. And as you can see, it goes that way and goes that way. And she's going to show you the Bella Coco way of doing it. Um, so it's going to be a blanket, uh, quite a small one, but it would be quite nice if you want to do it as a scarf or anything as well. Quite oh yeah, you could keep going, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Quite going. So it's quite good. Keep She's a nice very uh, neat um, crocheter. I'm very quite loose um, and you're a nice, tight, neat, yeah. tidy was... it is, tidy. <laughs> Yeah, this was done in a double knit, as you can tell I'm still going, but it's quite nice for style craft. Yeah, style craft, we like a style craft. Yeah. Right, the one that we've started is a style craft chunky, so yeah. I've right. chained it oh. and okay. done the first row. Right, let me explain first though, uh, before we start um, weaving in and out, is that you need to do a multiple of eight. And then once you've added, you know, multiplied the number of amount of eights you want, you then add seven. The reason you add seven is so that you can end up with what you started with. Does yeah. that make sense? Yes. So So if you start with a an uppy stitch, you end with an uppy stitch. Yeah. But obviously you, if you don't want that, you don't have to add the seven. So it's up to you. Then from once you've got the number of chains you want, so zero chain has done two lots of eight plus a seven. Once you've done that, you do from the third chain from the hook, you then just do trebles. This is like a really easy one. All you do is trebles and a half treble. We will get to half treble in a bit. Um, so, right, smart. before you before you start, were there any any questions? No, nope, so just fast. everybody's saying hello right now. Okay, cool. All right, then once you've finished and you've done your last travel, you chain two. Um, two. And you turn it. No, that is the right way. Sorry. Then there are, um, there's what is called a post, uh, a front post and a back post. Now, the front post, instead of going just into the chain uh, or into the stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap because it's still going to be a travel. You're going to go in, 
you're gonna go up like around that first chain so you're gonna grab the yarn pull through carry on um, doing the travel so yarn over pull through two pull through two always amazes me that if going front post you go behind it and oh. a back post you bring your hook from the back through the front yeah. it, it just I don't know that's what uh, yeah yeah um, so at the beginning so once so you've done one now this is just the chain like you it's gonna look like you're gonna have five on each end and then four but you ignore the chain yeah okay. pretty much ignore it uh, so you do another one so in that way am I explaining it all right for everyone so you're gonna do um, a treble into front post only. yeah front so post front at the moment post is you go through and behind yeah behind the stitch back up that one wrap around and you're gonna bring it through I find the front post ones quite easy to do the back ones which I'll show you now is a tiny bit more trickier to it's a nice manage. stitch isn't it it's um uh, it's it looks chunky it looks as yeah. if it's it, if it's got some um, warmth in it. Yeah, well, I think that the blankets will be quite warm. Okay, so you've done four trebles, and you're just gonna ignore that. But it looks like you have five. Can you see that? Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah. There you and go. Then, on this wrap, ready for the next treble. But instead, you're gonna go behind the post uh, behind the stitch and behind it so you're gonna be like that sometimes like if you crunch it together it helps for it because you're gonna try and bring that behind so see it's a bit more trickier try not to carry on okay another one so if you wrap it so you wrap first yeah and then you're going like to go behind your work and come forward and then it's and then round the post yeah round it again so it's like a travel just in front or behind the posts now i know i said i wouldn't come with crochet again <laughs> but i'm really enjoying i i enjoy crochet so you've anyway got two at the moment so you're gonna go behind yep behind No, where does this wrap go? <laughs> so wrap. Sorry, doing this like at a distance. Yeah, it's very difficult to do crochet <laughs> on on thing. Um, yeah. I think with the next row, if Josh comes behind you, yeah, and then he'll be able to see it as you're doing it. Okay. Oh, sorry. sorry. It's okay. It's okay. They yeah. they used to me crocheting, so you know. They just yeah, used to me and you said that's the problem. They used to me now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just you know, just just it's carry on regardless. Her mum forgets to do half of the half of the things she does. <gasps> don't tell her that. <laughs> She'll be watching this. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, right. So see, there's the four. It's gonna. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Can you see the slight difference? So you've got, so you've got your standing outy ones, and yeah. then these look as if you've done horizontals, verticals, and horizontals. Yeah. So, which is going to give you your basket weave. If we go on here, you can kind of see at the beginning it kind of does look a bit slightly different because obviously, to begin with, you've just got the travels. Yes, yeah, so it looks a little bit longer. So it's going to be longer-ish, yeah. but it's going to be blue. All right. Now that you've done the four behind, you're going to do four in front again. So it's literally just this pattern going back and forth. Front, back, front, back. That's the nice thing about crochet is once you've got into the rhythm of what you're doing, it's just, I find it very therapeutic. 
Yeah, you kind of get into a zone of doing things. She's speeding up now, she's going to start showing off. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you've done four front posts. Uh, yeah. One more. So, right. So yeah, you've got the four. Now, can you tell the difference? You've got the four front. I think then that's kind of yeah. going to the back. It is like um, when you first start. It does tend to start curl a bit, but once a few rows in, it'll soon disappear on that. So we've done the full front again, so we now do full front back. Full back. One more round. So into the... Is everyone okay with this? Or any yeah. questions? Any questions? She says she finds it hard to cro croquet? Crochet? Okay. <laughs> crochet, never mind crochet and talk at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing, is um, talking, because it's quite a monotonous uh, you know when you watch bella coco she says right i've shown you how to do this now pause your video and i'll meet you at the end mm -hmm. and you know but we can't do that so you've got to go through the the um the repeats she also says this is a really nice stitch it is a really nice stitch it's um oh no mum's here <gasps> <gasps> oh no quick sarah's in the room okay what you want to make sure as well that you go into each one, that you're not going to miss one, otherwise you're going to maybe... You have a hole or something, yeah. yeah. And, you, and gonna your miss count counts. will be out. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got yeah. a lot of ladies that can only count to three. So this is going to be a problem for them, <laughs> Linda. All right, now we're on the last four front. Okay, so we're doing front ones front. because we started with front. Yes, that's like okay. why we've added the seven. So, I'm still doing the one that I showed everybody. Um, I'm still trying to finish that blanket, but I forget to pick it up. You know, I'll have finished sewing, I'll go and sit in front of the telly and I think, right, I'm going to pick my crochet up and then I forget to pick it up. Okay, so we've done the last four posts, as you can tell. That one kind of slightly hides with where the chains are. Yeah, you should see my blankets. My blankets go squoof because I always lose that one. Okay, but before you're going to add chain two and turn, you're going to do a half travel into a stitch, into a chain. Now, on Bella Coco, it's on the top. But what I've found, if you do the bottom instead... You don't get that whole bit. Um, let's see if it is. It's on this side somewhere. Now, can you see that? It's just like, it gi gives like a little yeah. hole, whereas like the rest, I've done it further down. And it's, oh, good tip. Really... There you go, everybody. There's a good tip. So, so Beth's going to go into mm. the middle of the chain or the bottom of the chain. Yeah, pretty much where you want to find a good place where it's not gonna so half trouble it's like that but instead of going through two you're just gonna go all the way through that so it's yarn over yeah and pull, then, pull through so that you have three on your on your hook and yeah. then you pull through all three yeah now cool. that has done a bit of a hole but you can just pop that yeah. down and yeah, but that doesn't really matter put that down to the fact that i'm a loose <laughs> loose crocheter yeah that's fine and then you're gonna chain two and so is it always chain two? Yeah, always. So. Right, now on the back. Right, so this is the back, even though, see, they are front posts, but on the back, they look like back posts, if you get me. Yeah. So to get the height of each one before you make an um, the opposite, you're going to carry on doing the front post, which... To make it look like the front post, but we're going to do the back posts. Instead. So you're going to do a back post now? Yeah. Right. So, so because it sense. looks like the back post on... Yeah, yeah you're just yeah. doing it basically the other side of it. Right. So back posts, these four. Remember, it looks like you're going to have five at the beginning and end, but it's only 
or travels that you're actually doing. It's just the chains. Do you want to come round the back of Beth? Absolutely. And then you, you can put it in a more comfortable place for you, Beth. All right. Bring okay. it closer. That right there? Can everybody yeah, see that? So. Oh. That bit right. So it's in there. But you're going to end up at the back. Grab it. Pull through. This is like way I find it can be a bit tricky to get in that wall. Sometimes crunching it up helps. When you say crunch it up? I uh, just mean like squeeze it like, uh, like that. Yes. So it's, pop, it's a lot easier. Pop your, uh, pop your row out, your yeah. post out. So we've got one more. But also now that you can see where each one starts to begin. So hopefully you won't miss a... Um, They're out looking for you, Josh. <laughs> They'll never guess you're in here. Yeah, why do you think I'm hiding in the shop this time? <laughs> right. Oh, they so stopped. Back. So if you can see on the on the front, it's got height to it. Oh yes. But on the back, it's different. So you're gonna repeat that. So well, in the front, as just go along what it looks like. So, so you're back. doing. Fr front yeah, posts. These front posts now. Four front posts. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? No, yeah, everyone's enjoying the better view. Oh, yeah. there we are. It is very difficult um, to get get the right view. We need a like a tripod or something. So you ladies going to try this? Is this something that you think uh, is quite good? I think it gives the same sort of thickness and puffiness. That's the word I'm, I think I'm looking for. Puffiness as corner to corner because you're putting in a quite a thick, thick stitch. Um, I like corner to corner as well. Yeah, that's a good stitch. Yeah. It's, uh, quite simple as well. Like basically troubles on that one as well. So yeah. If you, so if you can only do troubles, it's quite a nice one. So. so can you see the, the pattern evolving now, ladies? Okay, so um, you're on back posts now? Yeah, back posts again. So back post is you go in from the back and come round the front of the post yeah. and out the back. So I'll show you on my last one. So in the back. At the front and then back out again. Crunch it, grab that wall. There we go. Get some more wool. And do the front again because it just like that it looks like the front. So you can see that. So where are we going now? Are we we'll on fronts front. now? Yeah. So fronts you go in the side behind the post yeah at the other side yeah so, so in there like that part there we go it's quite simple once you've got used to it yes it and it's one of those patterns that you can follow because it does it for you if that makes sense um you can see where you're supposed to go by looking, just looking at the pattern, as long as you've done it right in the beginning, just looking at the pattern, you can see that um, where, what stitch you, you're supposed to do next. I think that's what I'm groping for. Yeah. You know, you're not having to look for a space or look for, because there's no skipping. Yeah. You're just yeah. using every, every hole. Yeah. It's just remembering what, which way you're gonna do the next row. But you'll soon get that. And if you get confused at any point, as soon as you're doing the first two, you can pretty much tell if yes. it's gone off and you've done the wrong way or something. So it's quite easy to tell. Do you find that the more blanket you have already done, the easier it is to hold on to it? Uh, I always find starting something, I've got big hands. I mean, you've got tiny hands. Um, so 
you know, holding on to it, I find very difficult when it's small. Uh, at the beginning, it can be a bit fiddly. Um, and as well, like I said, it kind of goes... It goes on wiggly. Mm. Or wriggly. But after a couple of rows, you get used to it and it kind of goes flat. And so you can pretty much get to what you want to do. Yeah. That's, that's a really cool pattern. Hold it out again. See, you've got your... This is your back posts here. And then this is your front posts, back posts, front posts, and then your back posts. Yes. So you've got to the end. All right. Um, then you're going to do half a treble again. So into that chain. Grab it and pull through. Pull three. And then you're going to chain two and turn. Now to get to the next one, so you want that basically on top. You know, and then so you do two rows. Yeah, you do two rows of the same, and before you swap it. And then you, uh, you and do then the you opposite. Continue. Yeah. So you've got front posts showing yeah. there. But so you're going to do, do back. Posts. You're going to do a back post. So instead of like normally would do the front post, which is th like that, you're, you're going to go come behind in. in front of that stitch and then grab the yarn pull through and she doing well everybody i find you know i find it fascinating to watch somebody else crochet anyway um but you've done really well you do better than i do yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> i'm still learning so what um what stuff have you already uh crocheted um, I've done some scarves with the uh, granny stripe. I've done the corner to corner of what Sarah told us. Yeah. I've done two scarves of the corner to corner, as well as making a, one of the scarves have a photo on it, like a graph. Oh. Um, so that was alright. Um, but that's pretty much it so far. I've tried hats, but um, they keep on turning out to look like bowls. Oh, so. well, I'm a dab hand at a hat. But I have trouble getting it to fit the person that I'm going for. <laughs> I tend to make a hat and then find somebody it fits rather than uh, make it for someone. Yeah, I did find a different hat pattern that took a lot more wool than expected. So it was a bit of Smaller. a mishmash yeah. of wools. Mm. Linda but says she's been great explaining. Mm. Mum says her Eeyore coasters. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. And I did some coasters of different characters. Oh, brilliant. So I've done Eels for um, Sarah and some Winnie the Pooh's for uh, my sister and Spider-Man ones for Drew Robsley. <laughs> oh, of, of course. Of so course. Spider-Man. Right. <laughs> so now these are the back posts. But instead of doing carrying on with the back posts, we're now going to do the front posts instead. So you can do that. Okay. My daughter, um, Meg, a lot of you will have seen her on the Gigglers page. Um, she has taken to crochet like a duck to water, but she likes amigurumi more than... Mm. She started with blankets. Oh, tried to put that. But um, uh, she did two little dolls. I don't know whether oh. you saw them come up on the Gigglers page. Mm. Um, I would love to see what the girls thought of them because they would have been left downstairs for them. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to get time to catch up and see what they thought. Uh, no, no, I've done the front and the back. It's kind of hard to see at the moment. I mean, we're going to do like another row, so it's going to be like... So you're starting so to get your basket. It. Yeah, so you're starting to see the basket, if you can tell. Yeah, yeah. So. And then obviously, those are the front posts. But you're going to do back post instead, so opposite. Do you um, tend to learn a stitch and then do like two or three things in that? Or do you like to learn a new stitch each time you do a new project? Um, I basically look for the projects that are quite easy and then try and follow. Mm. Um, at the beginning, I did find what each stitch was and kept on getting mixed up between the, a lot of them. 
So I mainly focused on fidget tutorials. But yeah. I have got better at reading the patterns. It just takes practice, really. And got a book for the, like, making little toys. And that's yeah. kind of helped. Yeah. Quite easy pattern to follow. They I tend to be good. I started with a um, crochet along. Um, lady from South Africa, and it's Hooked on Sunshine. And they did an owl blanket. Um, and it was just a blanket an afghan blanket with it you started in the middle and worked your way out so you worked in rows around and then you did an owl to go in the middle oh, i did the blanket but never did the owl um but i learned so many new stitches from that and i think that's a a really good way of learning is it with. Oops, sorry. <laughs> it takes a couple no that's okay wow. everybody holds their um hooks different as well you hold it like a pencil pencil i hold mine like a fork <laughs> what do you mean by a fork I um know. like a fork like i hold mine like that oh i still hold it like a fork. whereas you hold it yeah. like that i think sarah holds it like a pencil as well linda holds hers like um like she's knitting so how she would hold her you know and all of us would get the same thing in the end yes. so it doesn't matter how you hold your hold your hook okay so finish with all the trebles as you can see starting is like the beginning now that one is going to be slightly longer ish uh, because of much. because of the yeah. bottom yeah but that's it um so there's that so you do your half treble at the end yep sorry no that's okay uh, and then we're gonna do it in here around by here and we're gonna pull it here oh so it's gonna go like that and then we're gonna chain two too much now. <laughs> Very nice. Two. Okay. Two. Now on this one. Um, yeah, we did back. Sometimes that was too long. So, so this one you're going to do a front post. Yeah, you're going to do front posts. So okay. much. So you're going to get that height into the ones. Uh, like I said, if you get slightly confused on which way you need to do, just do the first or second uh, one, and you can pretty much tell if you've gone wrong. You can just unravel it and then yeah. do the opposite. And if you're not sure, just do both ways and have a look at a photo, maybe as a comparison, so you have an idea of which way it's meant to go. That's the nice thing about crochet, is that you can just frog it back yeah um easily whereas i think doing it with um knitting is quite difficult okay. not that i've knitted for years mind i made a teddy bear um when we first opened because i didn't know how to crochet then sarah taught me how to crochet and I like it because it feels like I'm dancing with my fingers. It's, uh, yeah. Quite I like, expressive. <laughs> yeah. I like trebles the best because it you, you get into a real rhythm. Yeah. You know, when you're doing proper, you know, trebles into the top. I don't know how to make so crochets that I do. <laughs> so, as you can see, that height is developing. So there's that and then obviously that. <laughs> Put it down flat, Oops, sorry. so you can see. Can you see there, ladies, where it, it it looks as if you're going horizontal there, and then vertical above it, and you're going to get that here. You've got the verticals going down, and then the horizontals going up. So we'll, as you can see in here, can you see? You will get the basket weave like that, um, as you can see. It's a lot neater 
and tidy it in a um double knit. in a double knit rather than imagine this in a, in a cotton it'd be beautiful in a cotton i mean starcraft don't get me wrong i would always go with starcraft but um yeah so i'll come back by this side are there any questions there on um, what Beth's been doing? Thank you ever so much. It's, um, yeah, it's not quite long enough for a scarf, really. I might give it a back and, you know, get us to make me a scarf. I mean, the baby blanket. We've got time for about three days. So, <laughs> so that's us, really. Um, I'm back tomorrow. There's no questions, uh, Beth? No, everyone's saying it's just yeah. looking great at the moment. It is. Yeah. Um, I like the the fact that when you change the colours, it it gives you that change over there. Yeah. I like that. You can't really go without that into it because obviously you're weaving in and out, so you're gonna have that colour no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. So you're but gonna see I the like change. that. Um, that pleases me. <laughs> Linda says, "Well done. You've left you left yourself in the cell." You'll be doing that. Linda what says you're going to be doing a lot now. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. We we wait for her to finish this blanket, and then when she's learned a new stitch, we we'll be back. We'll be back. Um. So, uh, I'm back tomorrow. Uh, we're doing the shadow block. So, um, I'm going to reread the pattern to make sure that I'm giving you all the right uh, right information. Um. And we will see you at one o'clock tomorrow. See, short and sweet. That's what crochet is. Thanks, Beth. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. See you tomorrow. Bye.